videos. Thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on my weekly beauty favorites and fails. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I'm back with you all to talk about some more products that I've been using for the week. You know, I got some favorites, got some fails. I don't know, do I, have, I think I have two fails or something like that. And I got a, man. So anyway, I'm not gonna go in any particular order and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with a total fail for me. And you know, I was really shocked that this one ended up being a fail because every review I've seen literally on this product has been positive. So anyway, this is the Sonia Kashuk Makeup Blender uh, sponges. They look like this and, sorry about that. Here is the sponge. I already used one of them. So here's the deal with this one. Um, I was expecting it to be soft. Uh, they were relatively inexpensive. I think in a pack or two, you can get them for like eight or nine bucks, but I found these to be super dense, not soft. And um, I was just really disappointed in it. Also, they're kind of hard to uh, get all of the makeup off. So, you know, you see how it's white and black. I've never been able to really get it back white the one that I have and it could be due to the cleanser that I have I'm not sure but yeah this was a total fail for me and I'm shocked I'm like okay so maybe I'm missing something but it does swell up to be way you know bigger than this but it's just a hard sponge and I was actually shocked so this was a total fail for me if you have it and you like it uh, let me know. Also, if you have it and you like it and you've been able to get it back white, you know, let me know what cleanser you're using. All right, so the next one up is a favorite of mine and this is a newer product and I've been using this probably a little bit over a month, but this is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Pro Retinol Body Butter. This is it right here. And let me tell you all guys, this is doesn't really have a scent, but it does have like a pink color. And if it looks like it's almost gone, that's because my mini me uh, pretty much goes shopping in all of my skincare and makeup, but mainly my skincare and my body uh, and my body care. But this leaves the skin super hydrated for hours and hours. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend uh, this to apply. Let's say you're going to immediately put on your clothes and go to work. I wouldn't necessarily call this fast absorbing, um, but it feels really good on the skin. When it says pro retinol, I think that that's kind of a play on words. So as far as the pro retinol is concerned, pro retinol is um, derived from vitamin A. Just think of it as a gentle derivative of retinol. So um, that's kind of a tricky play on words. So don't really get bamboozled by that. Uh, but either way, this body butter is so, so good. I think right now, out of all the body butters that I've had, uh, new ones, even old ones, this one is kind of ranking up there on top. Not so much uh, because of the pro retinol um, right there, but just of how it makes the skin feel, how supple it uh, makes you feel. Um, and I'm talking hours after you've applied it. So this is divine. I love it. And it's definitely my favorite. All right. So the next one that I have is a favorite. It's a makeup item and this is by Jaclyn Hill. This is her luminous powder in Brilliant and oh my goodness, let me tell you, I love this powder. And I use it every time I do a makeup look. I've used it, I do have it on now. Um, you can really see it when you go out into the sun, like if you're just uh, taking pictures and things like that, it's going to give you that luminous, glowy look. Um, when you go out into the sun, you do kind of, I did notice sparkles on it, not glitter, but it just, it's just really, really pretty. I think it works as an excellent softening powder. Let's say um, you like the highlighting effect, but you don't like all of the beaming light. You just like a subtle, nice glow, something that's going to uh, work really well after you've set your uh, makeup. Um, let's say you don't wanna use a finishing powder, uh, but you wanna use something else that's going to give you some luminous without that beaming to the gods effect. This would definitely do the trick. And I found that when I pair it with a matte foundation, you know, you still can get that glowy type of look without looking sweaty, you know, and oily, if you know what I mean. But this powder is divine. I love it to death. If you haven't tried it, you have definitely got to try this one out. 
All right, y'all, so this next set is a total fail for me. And when I show it to you, you all are gonna side eye me like, really, you, did you really buy that? But I bought this some months back, probably about uh, four months ago at uh, the cosmetic store. And this past week, I just been kind of testing it out, seeing if I can get it to work. But don't, don't talk about me, y'all. But these are the Smashbox Hood Witch Liquid Eyeshadows. Do y'all remember these? Well, anyway, at the cosmetic store, I saw these and they were marked down. And then on top of that, they were marked down. So you can just kind of guess what the price was. But, you know, these were disappointing because um, I found them not to be very pigmented. Um, they're nowhere near the Stila Liquid Eyeshadows, you know, with one swipe you get a one swatch, you get a smooth, even, just beautiful application. With these, you have to layer it, let it dry, and then layer it, let it dry. The only one that probably isn't as bad is uh, this one, and I put it somewhere on the screen. But you all know me, I really love packaging. So a lot of that was me getting bamboozled into the packaging. So it's super cute in that regard. But this is probably why they've all landed at the cosmetic store. I'm not sure, I, you know, I don't know. You know, I, I guess I probably shouldn't say that because there are so many good products at the cosmetic store, but these were a total fail for me. And you know, over there, I don't think you can make any returns. I think all sales are fine. I'm going to keep playing with these to see, but as of now, these have been a complete fail for me. All right, so this next one was a gift to me by one of my good friends here on the YT. Her name is Alex Lissette. If you don't know her, definitely go and check her out. She's got a channel, but she gifted this to me, and this is the Max Fix Plus in Bronze Light. This is it right here. Oh my goodness, this is really, really pretty. And you almost kind of get the idea when you see all of the goldness and the bronzeness, you know, in uh, the in the bottle that it's going to translate like that on your face, but it doesn't. Um, this is like really subtle and you just get a simple glow. So um, in that regard, I think it's really beautiful. And it's not like, I'm not sure if you all are familiar with the physicians. Um, well, if you watch my channel, if you watch any of my old videos, I know you are, but it's not like the physician's formula 24K setting spray. I put it somewhere on the screen. With that one, once it dries down, you do get literally bronzy type of effects type of going on. You can really tell. But with this one, it's not that. It's just a beautiful, nice, subtle glow and I love it and look how cool this is this looks and I know y'all have seen this before but I'm gonna show it to you again but this is it and you're supposed to shake it up um I think that there are other brands out there that I think they were trying to copy this or do the same type of thing I'm not sure but I really love it um if you've tried this and you like it let me know down in the comments all right so the next one that I have is like man, borderline fail but I'm just gonna say it's like a meh okay so this one is the Bigman 1802 this is the buttermilk makeup melting cleansing balm so I really like the packaging as you can see it's clear you get like a little spoolie so you don't have to contaminate the product um, and I think that that's genius especially if you have a balm that you only want to use to take off your makeup but here's the deal with this one I love it because okay what i love about it is that it does have a lot of skin loving ingredients in it what i don't like about it is that if you're wearing heavy makeup like if you have on a primer and you have a powder and you've got on a liquid foundation and then you have on a bronzer and you got a this and a that and a that this is not going to do it in that regard However, if you just don't wear makeup and at the end of the day, you just want something gentle, a cleansing balm uh, to cleanse your face, I think that this would uh, be really good. But for those really tough jobs, not so much. After you use it and you rinse it off, you do need to go back in with another cleanser to get that uh, filmy film off. So that's the part that's like really disappointing uh, to me because uh, there are some cleansing balms that I have that that I absolutely love that don't do that. But um, the reason I'm just kind of having it in the meh category, it's kind of like if you, if you have, if you average it out, you know, good and then bad and you average it out and you get like, 
okay or meh. But anyway, that's what this one would be. But, you know, if you just don't wear makeup and you're just looking for a skin balm, a really good skin balm, you're looking for a really good cleansing balm uh, that has a lot of good skin loving ingredients, I would say to check this one out. Okay, so this next one is a favorite of mine and you know, I don't know if I should say it or not because a lot of uh, like uh, women of color, like my skin tone and deeper, they don't like Chisel this. This is a Patrick Ta She's Chiseled Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. So here's the deal. So, you know, people that I've watched or, um, or the comments that I've heard about this one is that, um, okay, so you get your cream contour, all right? So in, at the bottom, it's a cream, and at the top, it's a bronzer. So we all know that when you contour, you know, you're looking for right here, okay? So you're going to want a cooler shade, which you cast, which cast a shadow. So, you know, that's what I like about, ugh, if I get it open, but that's what I like about this contour cream is that when you put it right here, just a little bit, it casts a perfect shadow, but the powder has a more warmer effect. And then that's where you want to apply it, you know, on your forehead, some on your cheek, you know, to kind of get that burnt, well, not burnt, but that toasty out in the sun effect. But I think that for me, you know, he nailed it on this. He has some other products that I really want to check out somewhere down the line. I do want to check those out, but I really have been enjoying this. If you have it and you like it, let me know what you like about it. All right. And last on my list, and this is a favorite of mine or these are a favorite of mine these are all of melt cosmetics uh, lip glosses I'm not even sure if they st still sell these but I love them all because all of these shades first of all I like all the shades and I like that they're very pigmented you could literally do one swipe and you're good to go let me just kind of show you um, swipe one of them just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand and this is just one swipe and it's really really pigmented i mean look at that shade it's so pretty okay now i feel like i have to swatch some more for you <laughs> so they're just so pretty look at that shade really really nice and you know anytime that's one thing that i look for in lip glosses and things like that how many times do i have to swipe it just to get some pigmentation but if you're looking for some lip glosses that are really pigmented and that's got some holding power um also uh, none of these lip glosses let me wipe this off also, you don't get any transfer on your teeth. You know how with some lip glosses and um, any type of liquid lipsticks or just whatever, it transfers on your teeth and you constantly have to wipe them off and do all this extra stuff. You don't have to do that with those and I absolutely love it. Now, I have to say, if you're interested in them, if they still sell them, check the website because that's what I kind of do sometimes. I stalk websites and see or wait until things are put on sale and then I'll go ahead and make a purchase. But those are absolutely divine and if you pick them up I know you love them so that's pretty much it short and sweet those are all of my favorites fails and meh let me know down in the comments if you tried any of these or if you plan on trying any of these let me know I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches